an utter shock. I just couldn't believe that this was happening to me. And I've always been healthy. I'm a personal trainer, um, run marathons, and this just seemed unbelievable. Um, and basically, this led me to my decision that I need to tell people that this illness is not just for smokers. Um, and basically, I want to let everybody know the symptoms so that they can spot them early and don't end up in a stage four diagnosis like myself. So do you think the fact, that, the fact that you look so healthy and that you are so healthy, you're a fitness instructor, you were running marathons, is that what sort of put doctors effectively off the scent in terms of what might have been wrong with you? Um, I think so, um, because obviously I'm not the stereotypical type of person you expect to have lung cancer. I mean, myself um, included, I would not have believed that this was possible. So you said about <laughs> the symptoms that um, you had over a, a period of months, 18 months. What, what was the first that you experienced? Well, when I was training for London Marathon, that was really the first time that I noticed that something was wrong. Um, I would come back from a training run and my lungs would feel really heavy um, and I'd feel like I couldn't get enough air in. And it was initially treated as asthma. Was that, yes. I mean, I guess that, that's a diagnosis that would have made sense. How did you feel? Did you feel that was, that was correct? Well, at the time, obviously, because I do a lot of exercise, I was diagnosed with exercise-induced asthma. So I thought that that was, poss that was definitely possible. Um, and also, I then went on to run a good marathon. So I just assumed that that must be correct. But you kept going back to doctors. Why was yeah. that? Um, because really, the inhalers, I was given inhalers. I was also given tablets. And I just didn't think that they were doing a great deal. Did you ever suspect it might be lung cancer? No, never. I could never have imagined. I still, I still can't believe it, really. Um, no, I wouldn't have thought this at all.